in devotional, going through Psalms is always a joy for me because when I was going on a missionary outreach one time, we were going to Mexico and um, it was going to be a, oh, I don't know, probably an 18 hour drive. We were in a school bus and we had lots of wood and we were pulling a trailer and it was it was crazy. <laughs> a bunch of Jesus freaks heading down to Mexico to build a church. And so anyways, the long and the short of it was that we all began to sing songs from scriptures that we had heard sung or recorded, you know, in the Jesus movement. And uh, we were recounting them, you know, so to speak. If I, if I you know, knew of one, I would sing one that would cover certain scripture. And the amazing thing was, was that we began to notice that a lot of them were from Psalms, and we began to keep track of all the different Psalms that were recorded. And later in the church that I used to attend, they recorded an album called Psalms Alive, where they did actually take the Psalms and put them to music. And there's been a project, I think, either... Uh, John Michael Talbot or someone in contemporary Christian music has gone out of their way to put the Psalms to music but the joy in those days was just simply the expression of being able to remember and to sing spontaneously the Psalms, the songs and the words of the scriptures to music in one of them there's been one that's always been a very powerful song that was recorded by Maranatha Music at one time that was part of the Jesus movement that impacts greatly and it's from Psalm 5 and it's called Psalm 5 and most people that have heard it know it very well they sing it often it's rarely been changed or rearranged in in any way but we're going to just in Psalm 5 take it just the song itself Psalm 5 1 through 3 and then we'll in Psalms tomorrow pick up in the rest of the psalm and use it as a devotional but in Psalm 5 it says as God is speaking and we're getting inspired by listening to his word as he's directing us to consider him talking to us directly give ear to my words O Lord consider my meditation hearken unto the voice of my cry my King and my God for unto thee will I pray my voice shalt thou hear in the morning. O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto you and will look up. The song that we sang was always powerful because it was so deeply felt that the man after, shortly after it was recorded, or recorded it was dedicated to him, he died. He went to be with the Lord. And this was kind of like a memorial to him. But for us, we express ourselves to God often by saying, because we don't listen to him as well as we think we should, or we don't know him as personally as we and intimately as we might, we cry out asking God to hear us, to understand us, to look inside our heart and know the agony of what we're speaking or the reality of how we're expressing our emotions to him by saying, give ear to my words, by saying, listen carefully, God, to what I'm saying because this is who I am and what I want. And Father, I am asking you to consider me, to look at me, to breathe into my life deeply and inhale my soul so that you might take it and make me whole cause me to know that you are my creator and i am your created being we speak of hearkening and paying attention because it's more than just listening it's taking the time to focus in on directly what is being said and what is being expressed and we cry because when we say that we pray it is not an emotional appeal but a cry is that which is expressed with the emotion even as we say emotional is the emotion of a devotion we say that crying out is the expression of 
really earnestly seeking or earnestly desiring something from God when we say we cry out and we desire for him to hear us and we petition him because we know we have given over our rights to him he is our God but more than that we desire him to be our king to direct us in the way and the thing that we need and to give unto us that which we desire for surely we would turn it back unto him because he is in control of our life only to him in reality do we pray but we don't ask that of anyone else and we don't pray to anything else but unto our God and our King in the morning we take the time we express the feeling we involve the emotion we dedicate the day we choose to commit our life in a certain way to him so he can bring to us that which the day would unfold around us and cause the circumstances to work to our good for as we have committed our life in the direction of our prayer to him so too we are dedicating the circumstances and everything that comes about in our day to him as we pray in the morning for him to be throughout our day we look up we trust we obey we hear we do we pray and we dedicate each and every day to god almighty as we say give ear to my words o lord consider my meditation hearken unto the voice of my cry my king and my god for unto thee will i pray my voice shalt thou hear in the morning o lord in the morning will i direct my prayer unto thee and will I look up today in psalm 5 dedicate your prayer your way your will your understanding of this psalm to Jesus himself and he will cause you to not look around to not look down to not look in any other direction but to look up to where he is seated in the high places at the right hand of the Father and when you do and as you do God will look down upon you and will smile